Well, hello and welcome to our midweek message. I'm Chris and I'm the team rector of the Golden Cap Benefice and I'm really glad that you've been able to join us today. I hope you've had an enjoyable summer. Anyone who knows anything about church will know that this is the time of year when congregations have to endure listening to what vicars got up to in their summer holidays. So please bear with me just for a few minutes because I hope that the banner above me reveals that there's been much celebrating going on in the Martin household over this summer. And this has been for several reasons, but principally because my two youngest daughters, I have three daughters, and the two youngest ones got engaged over the summer. My eldest daughter uh, married her husband a few years back. So we had cause to throw two engagement parties within the space of seven days and it's been great fun. It's also coincided actually with my wife and I celebrating 30 years of marriage in August. So I do hope the sound of champagne corks popping here at the rectory hasn't upset our neighbours too much. Some very elaborate plans were hatched by our prospective son-in-laws who both asked for our blessings to marry our daughters and of course this meant having to keep secrets about clandestine meetings so as not to give the game away and uh, it was exhausting and I'm glad at least that we don't have to keep any more secrets but also delighted that there will be cause to welcome those two fine young men into our family in the near future. So as you'll no doubt expect much of the conversation over these last few weeks has been about weddings and dresses and venues and churches and I love a good wedding and uh, perhaps you've had the opportunity to go to a wedding sometime this summer. Weddings are very special times when families get together to celebrate the couple that are getting married and to acknowledge the new life together that that couple will form in the community. There have been several weddings across the benefice this summer and some more to come as well, so hopefully the weather will stay fine for them. In my book, weddings are very sacramental. And what I mean by that is that, you know, weddings by their very nature reveal something to us about the invisible kingdom of God. They are a means by which we are somehow apprehended by the kingdom in, in lots of ways, actually. I mean, the most obvious way is perhaps the way Jesus talks about heaven being like a wedding banquet where, you know, we'll get the chance to sit alongside others and to feast together, as so often happens at weddings. It's a really great and glorious picture of how things will one day be with nothing, nothing to blight our enjoyment. But weddings are sacramental in another really important way, which is that, you know, when a couple come together to pledge lifelong faithfulness to one another, what they're doing is they're imitating God, the one who pledges to love us for always, to continually be there for us, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. And this is why marriage is so revealing of God's kingdom. It's a, a window, if you like, through which we get to view God's great love and faithfulness for us. And it's a means by which marriage partners are able to share the love of God with one another. That's certainly been true in my own marriage over 30 years. I've been very grateful for the way that my wife has loved me at times when I least deserved it. And in doing so, she showed the love of God for me. Now, I know that it all, you know, sometimes it doesn't work out for couples. I know that sometimes as well, the stresses and the strains that relationships often come under are just too great to go on bearing and couples separate. 
But in my experience, you know, at the outset, there is always, always the intention that marriage be lifelong. You know, I haven't met a wedding couple yet who said, well, we're going to give it five years and see what happens. But whatever happens within human marriages, God's faithfulness for us will always endure. Because God has entered into a covenant, a promise with us. And that's one that God will never break. Even when we break our side of that covenant relationship with God. God never breaks God's side. God's love and God's faithfulness remain steadfast and eternal no matter what. So if you really needed to hear that today, I hope you are able to hear it and to receive it, that nothing we do will ever be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. God is literally wedded to us. His love and his faithfulness will go on and on and on and on, no matter what. So may God bless you to receive that for yourself afresh today. Thanks for watching. See you again next time. God bless you.